We're being attacked. Nathan, reset the router. Edgar, get me the procedures. Invalid parameters, reset session. Give me the status on the IDS. The IDS can't be rebooted. Richards, bring up the geolocator. We found them. Where's the attack originating from? China. Hong Kong. Bring up the attack vectors. Good evening. This is Nathan Maldich with EBSN News. Tonight's breaking story is the recent collapse of Moogle. Although we are still receiving all the information on the events leading up to the disaster, we have a correspondent on the scene who is interviewing a security expert with Moogle. Thanks, Nathan. This is Sai Shrikanth here with WQAJ and EBSN affiliate. I'm here with Mr. Charles Esapila, and he's the head of infrastructure security at Moogle Incorporated. I'm also here with Mr. Eric Renzo, and he is a Department of Defense security analyst. Uh, Mr. Esapila, can you explain to us what happened here? Well, what happened, Sai, is our security analysts analyzed a security breaching attempt aimed at various M-mail accounts. Our analysts have strong evidence which triangulates this heinous attempt to the China regime. Further investigations are underway with an objective of identifying the culprit. How could Moogle have prevented this disaster from occurring? Glad you asked, Sai. This disaster could have been prevented by the proliferation of penetration testers. Penetration testers, or ethical hackers, are individuals who possess experience employing hacking techniques in order to find network vulnerabilities and ensure corporations are not exploded by malicious hackers. IT security needs to become an international concern because the consequences and risks we face are too dire and merit strong action and cooperation. And one such way is through increased training in IT risk and analysis. Thank you, Mr. Asapilla. Thank you. Um, Mr. Renzo, if that's the case... Uh, Sorry for interrupting. Um, I think I have to go. Okay, not a problem. Thank you, Mr. Asapilla. Mr. Renzo, if that's the case, then why didn't Google um, you know, employ the services of such penetration testers? Well, it turns out that most organizations today see employing protective measures as a burden, an extra expense that takes away from the mission and goals of the company, when in reality it's just the opposite. Moogle should have been employing penetration testers to regularly attack their systems. This would have isolated a lot of vulnerabilities that Moogle could later have fixed preventing this problem. You know, and, and I like well, you know, what you said there, but what kind of skills do companies like Moogle look for in these penetration testers? I'm glad you asked, actually. Uh, primarily, they look for excellent analytical skills. A skilled hacker must be able to identify various security flaws and have a plethora of techniques and skills. They must also have a careful understanding of various hardware and software platforms, networking protocols, and other such skills in order to identify where the weaknesses are. M Mr. Egger, Mr. Egger, do you have any moments to spare with uh, EBSN? Certainly. Well, uh, we want to know specifically, like, what is the scope of data loss that Moogle is currently experiencing? Well, we're not yet 100% certain what has been stolen. We just are estimating on terabytes of information, such as emails, spreadsheets, usernames, passwords, things like that have been compromised. The lawyers are currently getting hounded with lawsuits and other types of litigation. It's kind of hard to believe that they didn't go ahead and hire a simple penetration tester to, like, just analyze the system. Of course, penetration testers are being trained everywhere, like Penn State University, for example, where there's an excellent SRA program, and a penetration tester can make upwards of $80,000 a year. Well, thank you for your uh, kind words of advice here about penetration testers and how Moogle could have used them. Perhaps in the future, Moogle will not have to deal with these uh, issues. Uh, but unfortunately, that's all the time we have for today. Uh, for Size Street Con with WQAJ and EBS and Affiliate, thank you so much and have a wonderful day. Back to you, Nathan. Action. Thank you, Sai. Although this news broadcast was fictitious, the consequences of an event like this are not. Hackers are consistently attempting to deny access to computer systems, steal data, and compromise security. Let's see how this scenario would have played out had Moogle employed the services of penetration testers. Sir, there's been a threat detected. It's a good thing we use penetration testers. Richards, bring up the geolocator. We found him. Where's the attack originating from? 
China. Hong Kong. Give me the attack vectors and notify the authorities. We got them.